In this video, we're going to solve puzzle number 97 from Sudoku to Go, volume 107 by Soap Opera Digest. In this puzzle, we're going to, uh, we'll find a few easy numbers right at first, and then we um, hit a rough spot very early on. And in that rough spot, we're going to have to find like uh, three different techniques in order to, to find one number. Then we're going to hit another rough spot a little bit later, pretty quickly, and we'll get through that one. And then toward the end of the puzzle, there will be a series of um, twins, or a bunch of sets of twins, all with the same two numbers. I'm sure you've seen puzzles like that before. Well, this one um, kind of does that all the way to the end. and. Um, Finally, we were able to uh, solve them all, and it kind of f falls together nicely at the end. So stay tuned till the very end so you can see that. I, I think it's kind of fun to watch that. Well, this is video number 202 on this channel. That means there are 203 videos about Sudoku on this channel. And with that many videos, it's kind of hard to find... Um, specific ones if you want to look for specific things. But there are a couple things you can do. First of all, you can go to a video index on sudokuprimer.com and uh, all the videos are listed there and it tells you what's what te techniques and patterns and things that are interesting are in each video. Then you can click on a link on that specific video and it'll take you right to it. Uh, the second way is you can go to the YouTube channel. Just click on my name on this uh, on this video, and you'll go to the home page of the channel, and then click on the playlists menu item, and you'll see a list, a uh, bunch of playlists out there, and they're mostly lists by um, puzzle difficulty or skill level. But if you're looking for that, you can go to that set of playlists to find specific skill levels. Let's say you're on um, working on medium puzzles. You can find a whole list of medium puzzles out there in a playlist. All right, well, um, let's get started here. We've got a 5 and a 5 there, and a 5 here, so that's a 5 right there. 5, 5, 5, right there. Here we've got a right angle pattern. I just introduced the right angle pattern on the previous video, Sudoku Primer video 201. So if you're interested in that, uh, go watch that video. Now with this right angle pattern, we've got a 2 here and a 2 here, so we know that is a 2. We've also got a 2 here and a 2 here, so we know this is a 2. And we've got a 9 here and a 9 here, so we know that is a 9. But at this point, we're pretty stuck. We're going to have to use some advanced techniques in order to uh, get ahead from here. Let me show you three different things um, in order to find one number. First of all, we have a 6 and an 8 in column 7 here, and a 6 and an 8 in row 5. That means these are 6-8 twins in box 6. Okay, that's the first thing that I noticed. Second thing I noticed is if we look at what's missing in row 6 here, we're missing 1, 3, 6, 8, 9. Okay, and we got a 6 and an 8 and a 1 here, so that's a 3 or a 9. We've got a 6 and an 8 here, so that's 1, 3, or 9, and that's 1, 3, or 9. And so we have 1, 3, 9 triplets right here. That means this is a 6 or an 8, and we have 6, 8 twins here. Okay, that's the second thing. The third thing that I um, found is... If you use the ambiguity rule now, or unique rectangles, and look up 
ambiguity rule on SudokuPrimer.com if you want to learn more about it. But with this 6-8 twins here and these 6-8 twins here, we know because of that rule that this cannot be a 6 or an 8. So we got 6-8 twins here and here, but these can't be 6-8 twins here. We know this is a 6 or an 8, so we need to have a 6 or an 8 in another part of this box here. We've got a 6 and an 8 in row 5 already, so this is the only place that other 6 and 8 can go. So we have 6, 8 twins here. So that's the third thing that we've found. So we found 6, 8 twins here, then 6, 8 twins here, then 6, 8 twins here. Now what are we missing here? 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 4, and 9 here. Okay, now let's go back over here, and with the 6-8 twins that we found here, we have a hidden T pattern. So we've got these four cells already populated, so we've got a T pattern this way. And with this one here, we know that one of these has to be a 1. So we know that has to be a 1 right there. All right, and with these 6-8 twins here, and a 9 there, we know one of these has to be a 1. I mean, I'm sorry, a 9. We've got a 9 there already, so we know that is a 9. So now we have 6, 8 twins and 4, 2 twins, or 2, 4 twins right there. And with... Um, Now with this 9 right here, and a 9 here, a 9 there, let's see, we know that this can't be a 9 here, this can't be a 9 there, so that's a 9 right there, and therefore that's a 9 right there. All right. And we also can find a 1 right here with this 1. All right. Now there's only two numbers left over here, one, three twins. And we've got a one here and a one here, so we know one of these is a one. And using that same rule, the unique rectangles or ambiguity rule, there, one of these is, or these are one, three twins here, and one of these has to be a one. Because one of these has to be a one, and we have one, three twins here, we know that neither of these can be a three. And with that knowledge, we got a 3 here, so the 3 in box 8 has to be, is constrained to row 7 here. So with the 3 there and ghost trees there, we know that's a 3. Now let's look at column 8 here. What are we missing? Well, we've got a 4 and a 7 here. Four seven twins, because they're the only things left in this box. So what are we missing? One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, three, and six. We've got a six there, so that's a one or a three. One, three, six there. There's a one and a three there, so we know that's a six. Now let's look at row 1 here and see what we're missing. 2, 4, 7, 9. 2, 4, 7, 9. And look, we've got a 2, 4, and a 9 there, so we know that's a 7. That's a 4 or a 9. 2, 4, 9. And 2 or 4. So we can solve that 7, but we can't solve any of the others there. All right. 
Now we've got a 2 here and a 2 here, so we can solve that 2 there. That means that's a 2 right there, and that's a 2 right there. So we have 2, 2, and 2. This can't be a 2 because of that 2, so we knew that was a 2 there. All right. Now we remember we have uh, the 6, 8 twins here, so that has to be a 4 right there. Okay, so we got 4, 4, 4. We can't solve those. All right. Let's look at this column right here. What are we missing here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 we're missing. So that's a, there's a 5 and a 7 there, so that's a 6 or an 8 there. Got 5 and 7 there, so 6, 8 there. So these are 5, 7s right here. And there's a 5 there, so we can solve them. All right, now let's look at column 2. We still can't solve these 6, 8s right here. Let's look at column 2. What are we missing in column 2? 4. 6, 8. 4, 6, and 8. 6 and 8 there, so that's a 4. So 6, 8, 6, 8. Wow, okay. So now we have 6, 8 twins here, 6, 8 twins here, and 6, 8 twins here, and 6, 8 twins here. So these are the twins that I was talking about. Uh, we have a whole series of 6, 8 twins here. Here, 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 and here so far. And uh, those are all going to resolve real nicely at the very end here. All right. Now let's look at um, column 7 here. What are we missing? 2, 3, 7. 2, 3, and 7. There's a 2 and a 7, so that's a 3 right there. All right, and now we've got, you remember we have six, eight twins here, so we're missing one, three, seven. One, three, and seven there. There's a one and three, so that's a seven. There's a three there, three and one right there. Now I got a two, two, so that's a two there. Two. So there's a two right there. Okay, now we're missing a 9 in row 1, so we can fill that one in. And then we got 9, 9, 9 right there. Now let's look at column th or box 3 right here. That's got to be a 1 right there. And we're missing 4 and 7. So we can put those in. All right. Let's look at row nine now. We're missing four, five, seven, eight. There's five, seven, and eight, so that's a four. And there's a four right there. Now we're missing 5, 7, and 8. So 7, 8, 5, 8, and this is 4, and this was 4, 7 twins. We can solve those now. Now we're just missing 5 and 8 right there, so we can fill those in. Okay, we have the fours there. Okay, now we're missing. Uh, let's see, we got a four there. And look at this, we got a six and an eight missing here. 
So we have six eighths, six eighths, six eighths, and six eighths. One three there, one six there, so that's a three seven right there. We can solve them. All right now I've got a three, a three there, so that's a three right there. All right now. What are we missing? We have a bunch of six eights, six eight, six eight, six eight, and six eight. And I'm sure you've seen this before. Now here we got a one six and an eight missing there, and a one three and a one six there. So the one goes right there because okay because there's no one in this column yet. And now we have six, eight here. And we've got one, three twins here, one, six twins here, and the rest are all six, eights. So now we can solve these one, threes there and one, sixes there. And with that, we can, and of course here with that six, we can solve the six, eights there, and we can finish the six, eights. So we got one, three there, and uh, six, one there, and now we've got an eight here, a six, eight, six, a six, eight there, or eight there, six, eight, and six, eight, and six. And there's all those six, eight twins that I talked about at the very end there. And that's it. Well, that one was uh, got kind of rough in a couple spots, but we we're able to uh, use some advanced techniques in order to, to solve them. We found the six eight twins here, and then the six eight twins here. And with those, and finding this hidden T pattern right here, we we're able to find this one, and then everything started working. And then we had to use the unique rectangles again right here in order to find this three in box nine and then we got that working well thanks for watching i hope that was interesting and uh have a good day